Today we are going to take you through the local net free zone that is located 28 kilometers north of Mackay Harbour and show you what creeks and islands you can access by boat, kayak, or jet ski. The net free zone starts just around the south headland from Cape Hillsborough where you can launch your boat off the beach. Just remember there is a small green zone to the north of the beach to make sure to check your maps. Located just to the south of the beach you will find Wedge Island which also has low tide land access. Another access you have is just around the headland at Hidden Valley where you have during the top half of the tide. Next up the coast we have Ball Bay. It also has beach access for a short trip into Spring Creek or north to Halliday Bay. Spring Creek can be accessed usually in the top half of the tide and does hold water during the low. Next we will move up to Seaforth which is centralised in the net free zone. At the southern part of the beach you will find Seaforth Creek, which is accessed during the top half of the tide. A short drive through Seaforth and you will find Port Newry Boat Ramp, the main boat ramp in the zone with four lanes, and a pontoon into Victor Creek. Be careful moving around the area at low tide with a number of rock and sand bars to be aware of. From this creek you will have access to many creeks and islands in the bay. Take note this satellite imagery is from low tide. From here I like to use satellite imagery like Google Earth or Navionics to find the channels north into places like Clooney Creek. Most creeks like Clooney and Canoe consist of deeper holes with a combination of mostly sand and mud with some rock and gravel patches. Mathis Creek Murray Creek is the next creek along the coast that has a boat ramp. The single lane ramp can be found about 45 minutes north of Mackay at the end of Little Bogger Road. St. Helens Creek Mystery Creek Home Creek Sandfly Creek. The next town up the coast is St. Helens Beach. Just under an hour north of Mackay there is St. Helens Beach Boat Ramp, a new single lane tidal ramp located on a rock wall. Jane Creek. Black Rock Creek. Saunders Creek. Located at the north of the bay is a green zone around the Brothers Islands at the most northern part of the net free zone, so make sure to check your maps when in the area. Now let's make our way back down the coast following the islands. High Islands Croker Rock Rabbit Island this island has its own creek system and offers camping facilities at Tugs Point booked through the Queensland National Parks website. Fish Reef Newry Island This island also offers camping around the old resort site and a walking trail. Outer Newry Island, which also offers camping facilities both able to be booked through the Queensland National Parks website. The next three islands are also located in a green zone. Acacia Island. Mausoleum Island. Rocky Island. Then back to the northern end of Seaforth Beach you will find North and South Redcliffe Islands which can also be accessed by land on the bottom of the tide. Just remember that this whole area is populated by crocodiles, dugong and turtles and many different species of sharks, jellyfish and other poisonous animals so always keep an eye out for hazards and respect the animals in their habitats. I hope this video helped you find a new location you would like to explore and big thanks to Hooked on McKay for the work they are doing towards sustainable fishing in the area.